Alright you guys, we're going to do 2002. Sorry this is a week late, but yeah, I'm sorry I'm putting it, posting it on a Sunday, but it's E3 week, so E3 is a lot more important than this little segment, but so let's get to it. At 44, we have Catch Me If You Can, great ass movie. 43, two weeks notice, stupid movie, but it's alright. Once in a lifetime watching though. 42, Gangs of New York. Very long ass movie, but Daniel Day Lewis and Leonardo DiCaprio. 41, Star Trek Nemesis. The most hated Star Trek movie ever, but yet, um, Into Darkness is also a good movie. And you know what? Into Darkness and Nemesis is one and the same, basically. If you think about it. 40, Half Past Dead. Not a bad movie, but it's alright. 39, I Spy. Ooh, the leafy bug. Leafy bug. Yeah. Um, 38, The Santa Claus 2. Good sequel. Good, good sequel. 37, Ghost Ship. Stupid. 36, The Transporter. Kick that dough in, motherfucker. 35, The Tuxedo. One of Jackie Chan's weirdest movies. But it was cool. Especially since I seen it in theater, so I, I couldn't hate it that much. 34, Swim Fan. The creepiest motherfucking movie ever, but that chick was hot. 33, Fear.com. Yes, I sat through this whole fucking movie. Ugh. I have to review it too, because it's in 2002. And all my playlist goes from 2013 to 2000. So, yeah. The Adventures of Pluto Nash is number 32. The worst Eddie Murphy movie ever. And I saw that in theaters. 31, Eight-Legged Freaks. Crazy sci-fi comedy, but it was enjoyable. It reminded me of um, Mars Attacks. 30, Spy Kids 2, Island of Lost Dreams. Another past of my childhood, even though I was 14, so I'm not really a child anymore. But still, you gotta love the Spy Kids. Not the fourth one, but the first three. 29, One Hour Photo. Saw that in theaters. That was awesome. <laughs> Can't wait to get the Blu-ray. 28, Serving Sarah. Mm, it was alright. At least Matthew Perry got something to do. And Elizabeth Hurley. Phew, enough said. 27, Triple X. Yeah, I love Triple X. I had it. I had to get it back though because I sold it for money issues. 26, Signs. Need I say more? No? Okay. 25, Austin Powers and Gold Member. Not the best one. But it was still passable. This would be the only time I... I no, okay. This would be the second to last time I mention this movie. Because I have to fucking review it. Because it's in 2002. Halloween Resurrection. Done. 23, Mr. Deeds. Not a bad Adam Sandler movie. Surprisingly. 22, Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Uh, not much to say about that. 21, Enough, Jennifer Lopez being the victim, pretty cool. 20, Ugh, Jason X, Ugh. 19, I'm the new guy, yeah, new guy. 18, the remake of Big Trouble, and my god, this was fucking awful. <laughs> 17 sorority boys. Uh, Micah Rosenbaum. What the fuck were you smoking? 15. Oh, nope, 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 nope. 16. Showtime. Will Smith produced this bullshit with Robert De Niro and Eddie Murphy. Why? 40. I mean, 40. <laughs> 15. 40 Days and 40 Nights. I love this fucking movie. I'm so glad I have the Blu ray. 14. Resident Evil. Yeah, it's a cool movie. Not the best, but it's alright. 13, A Walk to Remember. A good romantic movie. I do have a few romantic movies that I like. This is one of them. Especially since we reacted the play in drama class back in middle school? No, high school. My fault. Okay, maybe that was middle school and then on to height. I don't know. It's, it's one of those two. But I remember doing it, damn it. 12, Snow Dogs. Passable. 
11. Men in Black 2. Don't want to talk about it. 10. Minority Report. Good sci-fi flick. Kind of weird and confusing, but multiple viewings, you'll get it. 9. Die Another Day. The lamest James Bond movie ever. 8. Big Fat Liar. I love Big Fat Liar. Oh, this was me and my grandma's favorite movie to watch together. I, I, I got my grandma hooked on this movie because she saw the trailer with Paul Giamatti and all that blue stuff he had on his face. And she liked that. And so I finally was able to record it and I brought it up to her house. And every so often we would watch that movie and we would just laugh. And it was just good times. I miss you, Grandma. Rest in peace. Seven. Big, f I mean, Spider-Man. Not the best one, but it was alright. Six. Blade 2. Do I have to say anything about Blade 2? No? A bicycle and he just walks right under it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Five. Panic Room. Awesome. Awesome shit. Four. Road to Perdition. More awesome shit. Um, three. The most underrated Christopher Nolan film ever, but I fucking love it. Insomnia. Robin Williams as the bad guy. Are you serious? That He made that work. And then it worked again in one hour photo. So it, it was just all around creepy for Robin, Robin Williams that year. So congrats to him for that year. Two. Star Wars Episode 2. Attack of the Clones. Not a bad sequel. Only thing I don't like is trying to... It's like sitting through Twilight. Because the dialogue is so fucking horrendous. Between him and Padme. Padme. Oh my god. And one, The Born Identity. Oh yeah. Great entry into the series. You gotta love me some Jason Bourne. You gotta love Matt Damon that's whooping that ass and taking names like it ain't nobody's business. Great entry. So yeah, that is my list for 2002. What are y'all picks for 2002? A movie for every year of my life. I forgot to say that in the beginning. I had to say 2002. So yeah, uh, let me know down below. Catch y'all later.